everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna to be preparing some oatmeal for a late breakfast um, however before I get into that I do want to let you know that due to the current situation um, of COVID and due to LA County I know that you know the governor is saying to stay at home and this has been extended through May 15th. I have decided to do a bit of a care package a giveaway or a raffle. I haven't decided yet what will entirely be in the care package but for sure it's probably going to be some kind of lasagna and a few extras. You can either do this for yourself or if you feel that you know someone in need that is fine too but these are are going to be like the hard rules for it um number one you need to reside in la county because i reside in la county so i want to be able to deliver it to someone's doorstep secondly you need to like subscribe and comment to this video and that will earn you an entry um, for this raffle Third, I'm going to leave this um, entry time open until April 20th. So day end of April 20th will be the end of um, submitting your entry or liking, commenting, subscribing to my channel. And then um, I'm going to kind of tally up and, and see. And I'm going to do it old school. I'm just probably going to write down people's names, put it in a fishbowl and pick a name because that'll just be easy for me. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I will also have um, all these details down in the description box along with the recipe that I'm about to share. So I am going to be making like an oat cake, like an oatmeal type pancake. Um, pretty short ingredient list. I usually have it with just some sliced bananas and a drizzle of maple syrup, but because I have some extra time, I'm gonna be doing a blueberry uh, compote. So I'm just toasting up my oatmeal to kind of get a little extra flavor from them and then I'm going to combine it with my other ingredients. Okay, so I have some regular old-fashioned oats that I have heated up in a nonstick pan just to kind of bring out the flavor a little bit. I have one whole egg. I'm using some puffed amaranth because I still have some in the freezer, so you don't have to use this. You can just use straight up oatmeal. And then to this, I'm gonna be adding a dash of salt and some cinnamon. And I have a pat of butter that I'm gonna be heating up and cooking this in. And then for the blueberries, I have some frozen blueberries that I'm going to use as well as a piece of lemon. I'm going to use the zest as well as the juice and some maple syrup. So I'm actually going to start with my blueberries first because that kind of needs a little bit of time, not a whole lot. I put some frozen blueberries along with some water into a small saucepan. I've also got a few fresh blueberries that I'm going to add also because I have it, but you can just use straight up frozen blueberries. So I basically want this to come up to a boil and then simmer it for a little while. I have gone ahead and added some lemon zest. I'm gonna wait to add the lemon juice towards the end. And with like the blueberries in here, if you wanna smash them up a little bit, you can. Um, since the fresh blueberries I had were jumbo, I am just kind of gonna cut them in half a little bit. And this is gonna cook for um, probably about five minutes. The other thing I want is for the liquid in here to thicken a little bit. If it doesn't thicken, that's fine. Um, you could probably add a little sugar and that could help. If you have cornstarch, that can help as well. So, but if you want this to be on the thin side, you know, you could just leave it as is. And if you're pulverizing some fresh or smashing some flesh, fresh blueberries, that can also help. And then as this starts to bubble, I went ahead and added just a touch of salt, not very much, 
and I also want to do a drizzle of maple syrup so that's going to be my sweetener but you can use plain sugar brown sugar um, if you have a sugar alternative like coconut sugar or what have you just go ahead and use that and then I'm gonna to continue to cook this just for a few minutes okay so this is what I want I want so that when I scrape the bottom you know it's kind of slower to move back to where it was I've shut my burner off and I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of lemon juice um, you can adjust this or you can you know if you find that you added too much lemon you can add a little bit more syrup or sugar and that'll fix it so now I'm gonna deal with my oats I combine my oatmeal with the amaranth that I'm using I'm going to add a pinch of salt and then I'm gonna add my cinnamon I tend to use quite a bit because this is my flavor. Um, if you wanted to add like vanilla, you can do a cinnamon vanilla type of thing, but I, I do find that when I make this, I put in quite a bit of cinnamon. And then I'll just kind of stir this up a little bit to combine. And then I'm gonna beat my egg. And the amount of oatmeal may depend on the egg that you're using. Um, if you're using like a regular egg versus a jumbo egg, you know, it's just kind of, kind of depend. What you want is that if the egg is there to hold everything together. It's not meant to be an omelet. So after I've beaten this, I'm going to combine it. And then I'm just gonna stir everything so it gets incorporated. If it seems like it's a little too wet, I'm gonna add either more amaranth or more oatmeal. So I've actually added a little bit more oatmeal because it was still just a little bit too soupy for my taste. Um, and this is a lot better. So see, you want it so that it's it's just going to act as a glue for everything to stay together. You are going to heat your butter, and I have this over medium heat. Now, the only thing is you don't want your butter to be burning, so as soon as this gets melted, you're going to add your oatmeal. And once you've added it, you want to shape it a little bit. You don't want this too thin. You don't want this like too thick. And you want this to sizzle. So you want to cook this enough that the egg is cooked through. And I will be flipping this. And see, it's nice because it stays together. Wow, okay, that's good. It doesn't take that long. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide this on my plate. And then I'm going to add my blueberries, which now has had a chance to kind of thicken up even more. And I don't need all of it, but or sure, why not? I've made enough for one, but feel free to make a bigger batch. And then the other thing I'm gonna do, just because I do have it in the kitchen, I'm gonna add a little bit of yogurt. Um, you don't have to, but I'm going to. some extra fresh blueberries. 
So the nice thing is if you prepare the pan with butter and it doesn't burn, it just browns, you get like that brown butter taste in the background, which is always really nice. Um, and then when I eat something like this, it stays with me. So I'm not hungry an hour later. Um, you know, I can eat and kind of go and do what I need to do. <laughs> and and I'm good like I'm good when I eat this and sometimes you just get tired of having a bowl of oatmeal in the morning So if you're looking to switch it up a little bit, this isn't too far off um, It makes it interesting if you wanted to do it for like a Sunday brunch you can um, You know or even for dinner if you can't think of anything to make for dinner anymore now, of course it's going to be more chewy than your standard pancake, but it's oatmeal, so it's supposed to be that way. And I've done um, an iced Dalgona coffee with almond milk this time. I'll also leave that linked down below if you'd like to check that out. This is a really, really good combination. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and this recipe. Please check the description box. Um, number one, for the recipe and instructions on how to do this. Number two, for the rules of the care package raffle giveaway. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye.